up everyone hey I'm Sean uh, coming back to video at least for a short while you know I want to talk about this knife that I had done a video on a long time ago and then lost it's the dark timber mid tech 1911 elite and just this is the first gen uh, not much has changed except maybe a little bit of contour of the scales not sure about if the sheath has changed, but I don't think so. Uh, so let's talk about that. Quality Kydex, quality loop here. Very stable, very sturdy. The best thing about this sheath is this gap right here so you can tuck your shirt into it. Um, I don't like having to decide if my shirt's going to be crinkled up underneath the, underneath the handle or if it's going to fit awkwardly over top of my knife. And here you go. One of life's many mysteries solved. Um, it's got good retention, right? Pops out. It's real slick. Cause actually, it's it's a real slick sheath. Um, so you shouldn't have any worries about that. The knife itself, you know, is designed to be kind of a kind of a hybrid of a lot of different things between everyday carry, a field knife, hunting knife, Skinner, fighting, even. And got these some micarta and uh, some ironwood scales. And as far as purpose and design and all that jazz goes, this knife is it's pretty great, really. Not sure how much of that you can see, but if you're watching this video, you've seen it before, so. Uh, See how it fits in there? It fits in your hand like that. Got this little thumb ramp. It's quite comfortable. Uh, so if you wanted to unofficially stab someone, right between, not that you would put your thumb up there, but you got a really deep uh, groove for your indexing. Really, really solid. So your hand's not going to slip up or anything like that. Um, you have a great purchase on this knife. I like the angle on it coming out of here coming down when you're when you're skinning you can get down a little extra when you got to cut things you just bend your wrist and get a little more pressure that you need uh, I've done some I have done some skinning with it some raccoon and uh, some geese and I was I was really happy with this knife still am really happy with this knife um, as far as hunting and everyday carry goes, I really like this knife. Uh, it's not much for a woods knife. If, uh, I mean, a knife is a knife, and if this is all you got, then you're you're doing great. But uh, if you had a choice, I mean, you're going to take an actual dedicated woods knife, I would think. Uh, and that's and the only reason for me saying that. The only reason, to be honest, is. We talk about um, this grind here, All right? I don't care about it. I don't care about batoning. It's fine for batoning. It's thick enough for that. It will beat up your baton a little bit, but it's just a stick you're gonna burn later anyway, probably. Uh, but if you're doing a lot of carving, you're doing a lot of intricate work. This right here, these push cuts. this will start to dig into your thumb a little bit it's just a thin it's just thinner steel on top and you know and that's just part of the design this is this is better for hunting and skinning and fighting uh, it's a versatile grind uh, it'll work in the woods it's just woods is probably uh, the the least of its areas Nevertheless, uh, it would suffice. Anyway, I don't have a lot of funny jokes to say or anything funny antics, amusing antics. This is the knife. I think I believe it's like five and a half inches long. The blade. Feels good this way. Feels good this way. You unofficially want to 
psycho somebody. Uh, it feels good up underneath. It feels good this way. You know, I, I always, I actually always do this backwards. I, I come over the top, and I want to do this when I should be doing this. Uh, you'll probably see me screw that up in videos somewhere, but. Um, as long as you don't cut your face off with a big knife doing this, you'll be alright, I promise. <laughs> Nevertheless, the other way, <laughs> the other way is smarter. Uh, Dark Timber, Mid Tech 19, uh, 1911 Elite by Peter Cole. It is a great design. And it is hard to find scales. It's hard to find a handle design that's that feels this good in your hand. And that's the truth. Uh, the contour had become a little bit of an issue because everyone's hands are different and so is everyone's opinion. Uh, I think the newer ones have a little, it's a little rounded off here, a little more rounded off. And while in my hand I can feel where that might be, a little, would be more comfortable, I I like having that extra material there for the most part because it prevents, you know, twisting a little bit. It prevents slip when it's wet with blood. It just gives a little, not a blocky feel, but it give, there is more material there and it prevents it from slipping around when wet. So, <clears throat> as far as the scales go to each his own, it doesn't affect the nice design. The design is legit. The steel is 3V, legit. Five and a half inches. The angles, the grinds for how it's made and for what it's intended for, fantastic. The sheath is very well done. Of course, uh, I say most people, if not all of them, do upgrade to leather. You know, whether it be um, Positive Made Leathercraft with Dave Pouzon or Ortiz Leather with Sergio. I recommend both those guys. Anyway, this is the knife. I'll see maybe if I can get some pictures up of some raccoons or uh, some geese. But I, I'm getting to the point where I don't care about doing an actual outside video or having to you know show credibility that I actually go outside I just don't care it's a good knife if you're into it you're into it it'll do what you want to do as far as hunting skinning EDC if you're looking to go out in the woods and this be your do all knife I would probably go a different route okay fair is fair uh, a dog is a dog For hunting, skin, and EDC, not only is this a functional knife, but it, it's it's a good looking one. Can't go wrong. Peter Kohler, Dark Timber Brotherhood, 1911, Mid Tech Elite. Remember, don't believe everything you hear, unless you hear it here. All right, I'm John. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.